I was going through one of my playlists on YouTube uh, just to see what all I had in there. It's been a long time since I looked over all these videos and I've really put a lot into this playlist. Uh, so I was looking over the videos and I discovered that uh, one of the videos had been removed by YouTube, a video uh, quite conspicuously uh, removed from YouTube, which was uh, one million cases of swine flu in the US. Uh, and this video, um, it dated back to a month ago. Those, uh, so, uh, this one million cases, that is a month old estimate. And the flu picked up speed as, uh, as it went out of season. So, uh, they're expecting that this fall the flu could be widespread and that will be their cue to go ahead and just spray the stuff uh, wide and uh, set it onto people so hard that uh, know, uh, it becomes a, a fatal condition. In any case, um, the uh, video haven't been removed by YouTube. I see it as an act of treachery and a treasonous act and uh, I've come up with a legal challenge to YouTube uh, for removing this video. Um, I feel the person who had posted it originally should uh, enact a legal challenge uh, to go to trial uh, challenging the copyright by having posted the, uh, the news report, which was by CNN, as being an act of artistic expression that um, the even it having been a completely uh, copied version of the CNN report to have posted it to YouTube as a expression of uh, political understanding is uh, artic uh, is an artistic expression apart from uh, what it is that the video represented. Um, it seems to me that uh, this person who had this video uh, thrown from uh, their list has uh, uh, very many important videos that are uh, part of the videos that they have uploaded. So uh, for YouTube to threaten their account with closure by beginning to challenge the copyright of their videos, um, uh, especially a video which is to say that there is a mass murder underfoot as this uh, swine flu obviously is which is really a hybrid flu which is indicative of genetic manipulation a designed flu um, there's five genomes which are part of this flu uh, European pig flu Asian pig flu human flu uh, two types of human flu actually and bird flu, North American bird flu. So this virus is poised to spread wide and to uh, to copulate with whatever flus it is that are um, e enough genetically similar to the flu that it is. So uh, if, t uh, if one person is carrying two flus then uh, there's a strong probability that if one person is carrying two flus, there's a strong probability that uh, the flus will, uh, will replicate with each other and will then be sneezed by that person into uh, into the vicinity where it is that they're sneezing uh, and uh, quite often that is how the contamination of the flu is spread. So uh, it's a really precocious situation that which has been thrust upon humanity by this outbreak uh, attributed to a five-year-old boy in Mexico uh, at, at its uh, earliest origin per the uh, per the uh, major media uh, who are apparently challenging their copyright on the important information that 
stuff that they make disappear from their websites too that you know it's on the front page uh, for five minutes and then it's uh, gone uh, into the memory hole as they say so uh, this situation most definitely should uh, see a legal challenge and uh, it should result in a treason prosecution for whatever level of YouTube is in the know on allowing these egregious copyright claims when these are not in uh, the in the general uh, purview otherwise uh, if not for YouTube um, I don't know this is a good example when I search this on Google um, there's some articles about it but there's no videos Yeah, there's not one video. Um, actually, the one video that there is is this YouTube uh, copyright violation, which is now a dysfunctional uh, video link. This is the only thing that comes to the top of Google on uh, uh, as a video result of the search. So uh, now they have this situation where you know people hearing this maybe. Uh, as hearsay and wanting to challenge it that they come to uh, Google and the uh, the top link for this is a video that's gone you know um, how many people are uh, of sound mind enough to click the back button and to continue to challenge uh, I don't know, the the date and time you know how many people are even gonna do this search this stuff should be on page one every day how many more people have this until people realize that they need to be quarantined as soon as they are understanding that they have the flu um, and beyond that um, you know stopping this chemtrailing that's occurring so obviously and um, you know probably uh, the limitation of the motor vehicle traffic would be a really good idea on account of these powers these people that they uh, have been carrying this out. They have dissemination, uh, disease dissemination means by motor vehicle. Uh, this is uh, per a study that dates to the 1950s performed by the CIA that they were spraying pathogens on people in cities from a vehicle 